Uh, Dr. Ellis, why did you decide to get your PhD in communication? Well, I actually got my doctorate in education, higher education with an emphasis in communication studies. <laughs> and I, I was inspired because I had great teachers as a high school um, student in particular. And I loved the process of learning and teaching, even as a kid. So I couldn't wait to be a part of education. And what inspired you to be a teacher? And what inspired you to be a teacher? What led you to education? Yeah, so as I was uh, sharing, one of my mentors, her name was Connie Cassell, and she was my high school speech, debate, and theater teacher. And when I was in junior high, she would come down and work with me on some uh, contest pieces, and I thought, even as a kid, to be able to share with an audience in a way that was particularly meaningful in a speech or in a an acting scene, that nothing could be more fun. And what has been your favorite part about teaching? Without question, out of all of my years of teaching, and I've been teaching since 19... <laughs> that, uh, without question, my time here on Bison Hill has been my favorite. I've had some great opportunities. I taught nine years in high school and coached debate and one-act play and speech. and taught English and uh, theater and all of those classes. And that was great. And I had the opportunity to teach my niece and um, my own kids a little bit and a f my foreign exchange son. And those were particularly special times. And going to big contests, were ex those were exciting times as well. But teaching college has been especially rewarding because you're launching students into their careers and into the next phase. And... Being here at Bison Hill in particular has been rewarding because you get to share Jesus with sweet and caring kids who want to make the world better for God's glory. And having a front row seat to four years of that young person's life as they're making this transition to family and career and grad school is honestly such a tremendous honor. I can't even express it in words. It's wonderful.